Today's plan on Tip Market, Beach of Jean Lépin, Olive Oil Production Explanation, a short drive to an olive oil producer, and then the waterfall of Sion. At the end of the day, we'll head to the Valensol Plateau to admire the famous lavender fields and the magnificent sunset. The entrance of the market welcomes us with smell of freshly prepared famous soca niçoise. Soca that we will not resist to. It's a specialty of Nice made of chickpea flour and olive oil cooked and grilled in a wood-fired oven. This market carries all the authenticity of the south of France with its flavors and colors, its accents and its good mood. The farmers on the market offer fruits and vegetables of season, the producers from the close mountains sell their cheeses and their pork meat products, the local craftsmen display their specialties and make you taste jams, sweet candies, olive oils, wines. The florist also remind you that Antibes is located near Grasse, famous all over the world for its perfumes and flowers. Next to the market, we find a small restaurant where we can have our breakfast. The welcome is warm and the pancake we tested was simply exceptional. After this nice breakfast, we decide to relax a little on the beach of Jean Lépin. The beach is a fine sandy beach near the city. Very crowded in summer, but this morning we are lucky it's not. Today, the sea is really warm and we will take advantage of it to swim. After this rather relaxed morning, we have lunch at home before leaving for Valensol to admire the sunset over the lavender fields. But before that, two stops. The first one will be in a small olive oil production. And speaking of cooking, olive oil is one of the foundations of Mediterranean cuisine. Since ancient times, the olive tree has been considered as a symbol of peace and wisdom. The world's olive growing heritage is counts about 830 million olive trees. Most of them are of course around the Mediterranean Sea with two main producing countries which are Spain and Italy, far ahead of all the others. There are still some olive groves around the world. Spain, Portugal, Italy, Greece, Turkey, Tunisia and Morocco alone account for more than 90% of world production. In France, it's cultivated in Provence and the oil produced is high quality. The method of production of olive oil consists of various stages. Once the olives are picked, they are transferred to the mill and to the washing machine. This is a mechanical system where the olives go under water jets to be cleaned of any dust. Leaf removal is done by means of suction hoods and hoppers that retain the leaves and wood left over from the hand picking process. The clean olives then pass with the pits into the crusher. During the milling process, the pit isn't removed from the olives. It's important to keep the pit in order to collect an acid that will allow a better conservation of the oil. An endless crew will crush and mix the flesh of the olive and its pits to obtain a fluid base. It's important during this process of mixing to respect a temperature lower than 27 degrees. This manufacturing procedure is a guarantee of quality and a guarantee of an oil extracted by cold pressure. The olive pulp obtained is then poured into a decanter which separates the liquid from the solid. Only the liquid will be recovered, a juice composed of the olive oil and vegetation water contained in the olive flesh. Finally, this juice is passed through a centrifuge and it's at this stage that the oil is separated from the water and the remaining solid elements. 
The green gold is finally obtained after these different steps. We stopped at the mill of Funkabret to buy an olive oil from a local producer whose welcome is really friendly. And so we test several oils. Our choice will be an oil with a rather strong taste. We arrived at the Sion waterfall. Previously, the waterfall was accessible by a hiking trail and visitors could even swim in the turquoise blue lagoon. But since 2020, due to the large influx of people in the summer, swimming access downstream from the waterfall has become problematic. Thus, today, the only authorized access is a pleasant shaded and arranged path which leads us to the platform which will allow us to observe the waterfall from the top. Here we are finally on the way to the plateau of Valensol, a great place to be. It's without any surprise that we meet many people, vloggers and photographers. If you are a fan of the typical landscapes of Provence, this is a place to see in June and July, when the lavender, then in flower, lights up with a beautiful blue-purple color. An enchantment for the eyes and the noses. The village of Valençal is famous for its lavender honey with a subtle and delicate flavor that will delight your taste buds. The place is superb and we will spend a long time there to take some pictures and admire the magnificent sunset. <laughs> 